Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, those are my Tinkercad spring bugs. They are tons of fun, and I used them this week in class. If you haven't done the lesson, I will put a link up above so that you can track it down as well. But, my friends, a user of mine took that spring bug and turned it into an awesome dragon, and that gave me a sweet idea for wings. So, my friends, let's get cracking! So the first thing I want you to notice is I found my bug, clicked the gear, and did duplicate so I was not destroying my original bug. When you hit tinker this, it lets you in. I am going to get rid of the baby bug, and I'm only going to play with the adult bug, and I'm going to show you how to create a pretty sweet wing. So I'm going to just move the bug to the side, and then I'm going to hide it. I am going to make my wings out of scribble. I'm going to use this whole area, so I zoomed out with my mouse, and I'm just making the top of a wing. I'm making a little place it connects, and then I'm making little arches under it. You can be as perfect as you want. I'm just playing and showing you the technique. Once you've got your wing, we're going to fill it in. The coolest way is to get to a corner, and then you can kind of stretch this up, over, and the closer you stay to the little lines, the easier it is to fill it in in one spot. If you miss a spot, just come back and get it later. So see how I'm just tracing those shapes, and I'm close. I missed this spot that I'll fix. I missed this spot that I'll just grab second. That one, and that one. And I'm going to call this my wing and hit done. So that looks like a wing, but it's got horrible texture. Watch how we fix that. We're going to change the thickness to 20. So now it's massive. And then we're going to cut arches in this with a sphere. Bring out your sphere. Push it down a little bit. Use the black handle to stretch it large. And you get to pick what you're doing here. But the idea is that we're going to cut these. And it'll leave a rounded shape underneath. So I'm going to make one of those. And then I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it across. So see here, there will be different heights. And then I'm going to duplicate again. This time I'll use Control D, which is the shortcut on the keyboard. And you can see that's got a pretty neat texture for my wing. I'm going to take those three pieces and I'm going to duplicate them again. And I'm going to use the arrow keys to move them up for the next part of the process. Right now, I'm going to grab those three items, and I'm going to hit group, and look underneath. That is a pretty decently cool wing shape under there. So let me show you how we cut the top. We're going to take those same holes, and we're going to cut them into a cube. So notice I used the black handle in the middle, and now we are going to select all of that. It'll say four shapes. We'll hit group, and once it groups, which takes a moment, then we'll turn it into a hole. Now we'll move it into our wing, adjust it to where we like it, and can you see that's going to cut the same type of rounded shapes into our wing. You can nudge it left or right to wherever you want, and when you group them, you have just created a rounded dragon's wing. Now, you want to do this while it's flat, but if you want it thinner, here's where you take time to make it thin or thick and arrange it the way you want. I'm going to leave mine just like that because I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to make it a red, and I'm going to bring back my adorable little spring bug. Now I can take this wing, and I want to flip it around. So if I turn it like this, now it looks the right way. I need to make it larger, and I'm just going to stretch it with the black handles. And let's move this all into place. I'm going to grab my dragon, <laughs> or a spring bug, and I'm going to put him more centered. I'm going to make my wing just like this, rotate it a little. And I think I'm going to use 22 and a half, because that way if I want to change something, it's real easy to change it back. I'm going to use control up to raise it up and move it to the center of his back. Use duplicate, which is also control D. And then I'm going to flip with the flip tool 
to the other side and then just nudge it across. Just like that, friends, we have made sweet, rounded, textured wings for our awesome little spring bug. If you want them to be perfectly aligned, you can do shift click to grab both wings and you can group them. And then we can do the shift click on part of our bug and do a line. I'm going to use the bug as the master and center them up. You could even make them transparent, which gives them a completely different visual look. And we can rotate them in this direction if for some reason you wanted them to be angled in a different fashion. I'm going to just push mine down in so they're a little better attached. <laughs> and I am pretty happy with that. All right, friends, that was pretty quick and pretty fun. And I really like the texture on these groovy little wings. Mine is kind of happy looking where Noah's was ferocious, but you can see the technique is going to be a lot of fun. Don't forget, if you check the cards up above, you can find the link to the actual spring bug. And friends, if you make something awesome, don't forget you can generate a link, copy it, and send it to me at HLModTech. Uh, you can use my Gmail, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter to show me the cool things that you're creating, and maybe you will be a designer that I show off someday. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HLModTech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.